In this video, we're going to be looking at the rules of indices. So I've got three rules on the screen now. We've got x to the power of a times x to the power of b equals x to the power of a plus b. Now, all that means is when we multiply numbers of the same base, so the x is the same in both, we add the powers. The second rule, when we divide, we subtract the powers. And when we've got a number raised to another power, we multiply the powers. I'm going to go over these one by one and explain why these rules exist as we go. So here's the first rule. When we multiply, we add the powers. Now let me explain why that is. We've got 3 squared here, which means 3 times 3. And it's multiplied by 3 cubed, which means 3 times 3 times 3. So what we've actually got is 5 3's multiplied together. Another way of writing that is 3 to the power of 5. So 2 plus 3 made 5. Same thing here. It doesn't, as long as the number's the same base, it can be any letter or number. In this instance, it's Y. So I've got 9 Y's multiplied together, plus another 2 Y's multiplied together. That means I've got 11 Y's multiplied together, because 9 plus 2 makes 11. So we're going to follow the rule for the next one, and it's, well, we've got 7 to have minus 5 there. Just follow the rule. So what we do is we do 7 is still the base, and then 8 plus minus 5. That means 8 minus 5, and 8 minus 5 is 3. Now look at this last one. I've got C cubed multiplied by D squared. Now they're not, they don't have the same base. I cannot follow the rule, because in the rule, the base has got to be the same. So, I cannot multiply them together. Okay, I can take out the multiplication sign, but I cannot do anything with the powers, because they have to be of the same base. Okay, the second rule now. So, we've got, when we divide we subtract the powers. So let me explain why. We've got 3 to the power of 5 here, which means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And divide by 3 cubed. 1, 2, 3. What we can essentially do here is cancel off the 3s. And that leaves us with 3 squared. It's 5 take away 3 is 2. So, following the same rule, base stays the same. 7 take away 4, 3. And we've got another example here. 5 to the power 7 divided by 5 to the power 2. And 7 take away 2 is 5, so that leaves us with 5 to the power 5. Again, the base stays the same. Okay, the base is going to stay the same. 7 minus minus 3. So what that in fact gives us is 7 plus 3 because a minus minus makes a plus. So 7 plus 3 is 10. Okay, and the last rule. So when we've got a bracket, what we've actually got is 2 cubed squared. And we know squared means multiplied by itself. So we've got 2 cubed multiplied by 2 cubed. And following the first rule, when we multiply, we add the powers. So it's 2 to the power of 6. Same thing here. We can skip, because we know the rule, is we multiply them, or we can write what it actually means. So cubed means times itself, times itself again, and 4 plus 4 plus 4, or 4 times 3 makes 12. Okay, with the last one here, we've got to be a bit careful because we've got 2y squared to the power of 4. Now, 2y squared times 2y squared times 2y squared times 2y squared. With the y's, that's the same as it was before. So, we've got 2 times 4, or 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is 8. 
So I'm going to put that in first. Now, if we just look at the numbers, we've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So be careful not to add the 2s um, or leave the 2 as it is. We've got to multiply them all together. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times another 2 is 16. So it's 16y squared. Okay, here's a set of questions. Um, you can have a go at them. So pause the video and try them out. Then I'll go through the answers in a minute. Okay, the first one, we're following the rule of when we multiply, we add the powers. So base stays the same, 3 plus 5, that makes 8. Same thing for the second one. The base is going to stay the same, so it's still going to be the base of 3. And 7, add 3, makes 10. When we divide, we subtract the powers. Base is going to stay the same. 11, take away 4, that makes 7. When we multiply, we add the powers. So 3 plus minus 2 means 3 minus 2. So that gives us the power of 1. We don't actually have to write the power of 1 because that's just 4. Here we've got division, so we subtract the powers. So we've got 3 minus minus 2. Minus minus means plus. So 3 plus 2 makes 5 x cubed to the power of 4, x cubed times x cubed times x cubed times x cubed, makes x to the power of 12. Here we've got 2x squared cubed, so 2x squared times 2x squared times 2x squared, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and then 2 3 is 6. And finally, we've got 2 times 4, that makes 8, and x cubed times x power of 5, 3 plus 5, 8.